All right, now that we covered all of the tools and the features that XT has to offer, let's talk about the assets panel. When you open a XT file, this panel is open by default and there is so much that you can do with it. It's located over there, the first one from the top. Assets panel is like our command center. We can save different kind of assets here in order to reuse them during the design process. This panel has three different segments, colors, character styles, and components. Right now, we are going to talk about colors. When we are working on a big project like this one, it's hard to keep track on the colors that we use during the design process. We can see that purple color in the live chat, the artboard next to it, and here, the purple color is used a lot in designing the CUI kit. You can see that it's all over the place. So we can say that this purple is one of the main colors of a color palette that they had for designing this application. We have a land that we can save colors in our color picker window over there but sometimes when working on big projects we are going to add too many colors and we lose a track of which color we used where in order to prevent this kind of problems we can save our colors in our assets panel right now i have selected that rectangle and it has that purple on it but as you can see, I can't add it to my color list in the assets panel. The reason is that this color is already there. Its code is 8A56AC and we have it on the list over there. We can add new colors to the list and that makes sense. So let's change the color here a little bit. Let's go for example with this kind of color. Right now, we can add this color to our color list in the assets panel, right here. I'm going to add it, and boom, it's added. There is also another way of doing this operation. I'm going to right click on the element that has that particular color on it. Then we have add color to assets. So right now, that color is added to our list. Here, the designer didn't name the colors, but we can do it in order to just don't lose track of the color. And uh, we have a search feature in the assets panel, so we can access them way faster. I always do name my colors because I'm colorblind and it will get a little bit confusing for me to pick the right color in the right place. So in order to name the colors in our assets panel, we just double click on their name like we do in the layers panel and boom, we can name them. Let's name this one chats reply and there it has a name. And in order to apply a color from our assets panel, it's so simple. We select the element we want that color to be applied on, then we just come here, click, that's applied. Have that in mind, right here, if I select this group, the whole group, and then if I apply this color, you can see that everything has that color. I don't know it's purple or blue, even the text, but we don't want that situation. So I'm going to undo what I did. I'm going to just select the rectangle and then I'm applying the color. That purple that we talked about is one of the main colors of this application. You can see it's kinda have been used on almost all the art words. So it plays an important role on this design. But sometimes we do a project and then we kinda don't like the colors that we used or we show it to the stakeholders and they say that uh, they want to change a specific color in the design. And for example, here, let's say this purple, we show it to the stakeholders and they don't like it. So it would be a suicide mission to go artboard by artboard, changing that color one at a time. But lucky for us, we have assets panel to save the day. In order to do that operation, I'm going to select one of the elements here, for example, this button that has that purple on it. I'm going to 
select the button then i'm going to right click on it we have this option reveal color in assets right now that color is highlighted in my asset panel so i know which one is that i'm going to name it double click name it main and i want to change this main color to red for example and it would be a suicide mission to go artboard by artboard changing the purple color to the red so we have a very fast survey here i'm going to select it then right click on it we have edit this color picker window would pop up and we want to go with the red and as you can see that color is changed to red we can check other artboards that's red that's red every place that that color was applied is now changed and right now color red is applied to those places now let's say that we used this color code 352641 somewhere in our design but we don't know where because we didn't name it and uh, we forgot where it is we forgot where it is on the canvas or where have we used it or why so in order to see where have we used that color right click on it then we have this option highlight on canvas i'm going to select it and as you can see every place that we have used or filled that color is now highlighted and we know where have we used it the other thing that we can do with colors in assets panel is fixing color box sometimes we have some colors that uh, they look kind of the same but they only have difference a little bit in their codes and when we face that situation in order to have a more consistent design we have to get rid of one of them and then apply the other one to the elements with the removed color here on the assets panel color code 52912e and color code 417623 look kind of the same they're not exactly the same color but they look kind of the same and we want to have a consistent design so we want to merge them together and in order to do that i'm going to select one of them for example this one right here i'm going to right click on it edit i'm going to copy the color code which is selected by default command c and then i'm going to select the other one right click edit command v and i'm going to hit enter and as you can see those colors are merged together so this operation is done and now we have a better design and the color bug is fixed we can change the order of the colors in our color list for example click and drag in order to move them up or down this doesn't affect the design we just have a better list for ourselves and faster access to more important colors and we can use the search feature for example let's say chat reply we just search for chat and we have that color right over there so that was colors in the assets panel and as you saw it plays an important role in our design process we can do a lot of things with it and it will speed up the design process especially with the universal editing thanks for watching and please subscribe for more content.